Hey everyone, it's the uh, Depressed Dior, and uh, I'm playing in the background, it's just uh, Tohovania 2, it's just something that you guys can watch while I talk. Um, so anyway, let me, sorry, let me turn that down. Alright, I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, well first of all about Conquest of Elysium 3. Um, as of this uh, recording, I'm just about done with the Bakumono playthrough, and I'll leave uh, three factions left, the uh, Barbarian, the... Um, I, oh, sorry, the Priest King and the uh, High Cultus. Um, I was kind of thinking about what to do with the uh, last three games, because, you know, I've pretty much been doing the same thing, you know, large map, you know, five, six opponents, just rather standard stuff. So, um, I was kind of considering go ahead and show up and see what the, uh, the team play is like, um, for at least two of them. Have, like, one of them be a large map with, um, uh, three teams of two, with one with one of the AIs being, of course, my partner, and, um, excuse me, sorry about that, um, and the other one being like a 4v4 on, a, on the largest map, and then for the last one, I could just do a regular game, but on a, a maximum size map with maximum opponents, so those will probably take some time, and, um, be a, I guess a good close for the uh, for the game, um, but I kind of wanted to hear your suggestions on it. If you guys don't want me to do any team games at all, I'm not sure if any of those options like you know, you know, spawn close to each other or you know, keep playing even after you lose your citadel. But um, yeah, so if you don't want me to do any of that, just uh, let me know and I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. Um, otherwise, um, if you guys are interested, uh, give me some suggestions on what teams you want to do for. Uh, for those uh, team games, like if you, uh, one rule I'm doing for myself though for the team games is my team has to be the same uh, faction as I am. So on uh, the 4v4, if I was barbarian, I'll, I'll be four barbarians versus uh, four randoms, for example. Um, otherwise, uh, that's about it. Um, so if you guys want, you can just give me my suggestions for what the uh, the large map 2v2v2 2 2v2, uh, game would be, or the 4v4, or um, just the uh, large free for all game. Uh, like I said, the last three factions I have left are Barbarian, High Pri uh, Priest King, and High Cultist. Um, oh, um, if there is, if it does come to a, if one of the team games just ends way too quickly, quickly for me to show off everything that a faction does, I will just off camera get a playthrough and add that to the end of it of uh, just me showing off their abilities. I'll probably just do a very quick run on the easiest difficulty and uh, that'll be it. Um, and then that'll, that'll be it for Conquest of Elysium 3. Um, there'll be nothing more to add to it. I'll probably be done with it. <laughs> um, I've already got 30 plus hours of uh, gameplay footage of, the, of uh, this game up, which is probably more than anyone else has. Um, so that kind of leaves uh, an opening for what should I do for uh, another LP. Um, with school, co with a test in school coming up, um, I might it might be a little bit before I start the next LP. I might take a, just a short break and just you know finish up a little bit of uh, Toe Soccer 2, which won't take very long. Um, my matches in that game are only 30 minutes as compared to you know one and a half to two hours of uh, Conquest of Elysium, but. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that. Um, if there is no suggestions really for uh, for another Let's Play, I'll probably just do uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore and do some more random runs. Um, I don't know if anyone's watched them. I've done two so far, where I just uh, do hardest difficulty, hardcore hardcore mode, where if I die, I lose my character. And I, um, what is it? Um, I yeah, I just pick all random for my skills. So all seven of my starting skills will be decided by the um, random number generator. Uh, so I could do that. Uh, I had some fun with the. Uh, I definitely had fun with the second one and got to test out skills I never really messed with before, like perception and using eye lasers. Um, also, with the patch changes where they kind of uh, fix some of the debuffs you usually get for uh, unskilled weapons, really makes the uh, random mode a lot more uh, bearable. <laughs> so even if you don't have any weapon skills, you can still you know, use weapons. But um, I'm kind of rambling on about that now. So. Um, other than that, um, I do, as I probably mentioned in one of my past videos, I do prefer NT titles over AAA. Um, it doesn't mean I won't play any AAA. It really kind of depends on if my if Fraps can ha uh, can handle it, because I can play both games. I, I play AAA titles every once in a while, um, and my computer.
meter does fine. Uh, the issue really is just a matter of space, of how much space fraps will take up when I record something like that. Also, I really... I'm, I've been rather disappointed with all the high-end companies with their recent uh, games. Uh, some of them I have fun with, like, you know, maybe Saints Row 3 for messing around, or... or um, I had, I had a reasonable amount of fun with uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, but uh, of course that game had its own flaws with like a not so good story and a very horrible boss system. But um, so I, I'm kind of just leaning towards indie titles, um, maybe even some like old school uh, emulator games, but uh, I'm not really too concerned about emulator games because there's already a plenty of people that are doing that. Um, so. That's just some things to keep in mind if you guys are making suggestions. I do have some more games on Desora. I took advantage of the um, the Alpha Bundle sale. Unfortunately, that, as the name implies, there's still an Alpha mode, uh, like Towns and uh, I can't remember the other game. It's like 30 something. It's like a year, <laughs> and it's like a Minecraft Minecraft adventure game type thing. Um, I'm probably not going to do Towns or anything like that until at least they. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do anything with towns until they introduce heroes, which I'm hoping they'll do eventually, because <laughs> that's kind of like a primary thing you need in that game, if you're going to survive any duration. Though, I might just mess with it to see how long it lasts, because without heroes, it's just a matter of time before the sieges just kill you. Um, but, uh, other than that, there's another game that was on the, uh, the triple, the triple bundle, and, uh, I think it was like Wiv or something like that, it was like a, uh, puzzle... Uh, it was like a like a puzzle game, kind of like uh, Lost Vikings, supposedly. Which um, even though that, that's in alpha mode, I might be able to go ahead and just play that and show that off a bit. Um, I don't know if uh, Paul Soares has done any of those, or d done that game in particular. I know he's done the other two, at least a little bit. So there is that. Um, I do have some other games like Project Zomboid, but those are also still, you know, in you know production, in, you know, Xenonauts and stuff like that. I can also do some more Toho fan games, like the one you guys are probably seeing right now, which is uh, Tohovania 2, which is practically Castlevania with kind of a Toho theme to it. Um, it's actually a rather enjoyable game. Uh, I, Tohovania 1 is pretty good as well, but its controls are rather iffy. Uh, Tohovania 2, um, they really smoothed out the controls, making the game a more reasonable to play. So, um, there's that. Let's see, what else can I ramble on about? Oh, well, as of doing this uh, this recording, I believe I'm up to like 26, 27 um, subscribers, and about probably a little over 2,000 views, I think. Or, or, or on the verge of getting 2,000 views. Um, so, it's uh, rather exciting of how quickly things have kind of grown. Um, I've made no effort to broadcast that my channel exists, so I don't know how much word of mouth has been going around amongst you guys, but... Um, I haven't really made any effort to uh, let anyone know that I've been making these videos. I could have done something like that easily through Desura and going to the forums and, you know, or the comments and just been like, hey, come to this link. I'm, I'm doing this game, I'm doing gameplay footage of this game, but um, I didn't do that. I decided to just let the, um, the world of YouTube decide uh, how things are going to go. Um, so apparently you guys have not only searched for Conquest of Elysium 3, and uh, you guys also. <laughs> Already watched Paul Source Jr.'s and Pew Pew Pew's videos along with one some other guy <laughs> that obviously has more viewers uh, viewers than me, and finally scrolled down and noticed my videos. So I, I thank you guys for that and your patience to uh, find my videos. So um, also you guys have been rather cool. The guys, have, the few the few of you have been doing comments and uh, you guys have been uh, rather uh, rather polite with it. Uh, you just giving giving your support or just you know giving some advice without being condescending. So <laughs> it's been uh, working out rather well. Um, I definitely don't mind any of the comments or corrections. Uh, it's, it's more for you guys than me. I'm, I don't really see myself as entertaining as far as these videos go. I, I'm more just providing information, just showing you guys off that, hey, this game exists and this is how it plays. And that's kind of the goal with the Toho videos. Even though you guys are probably not interested in Toho, the uh, games are actually really enjoyable, and so I like to show them off sometimes. And that's kind of how I am with the indie titles. There's no need for me to show off you know, Mass Effect 3 any other horrible RPG that's going to be coming out. <laughs> so, because um, there's plenty of marketing that does that for, uh, for them. Um, so I'd rather just, you know, stick with games that are rather, uh, a little bit more, in I find a little bit more interesting and under the radar. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I have a lot more gameplay from each of this game if you guys want to see it. But, um, if I do it, I'll probably do it as a, 
as a uh, commentary as I play of uh, Toevania 2, but that's only if you guys are interested. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep, uh, keep working on other uh, small projects. And if you guys have suggestions for um, more Let's Plays, just feel free to let me know. Also, I'm not sure, but I think this, this is my second attempt of doing this recording. <laughs> the, um, someone did suggest I do Civ 4 or Civ 5. Um, I'll go ahead and say no to Civ 4 simply because I suck at it and I've already un uninstalled it since getting Civ 5. Um, I really just, I'm not good at Civ 4. Um, the random, I hate the stack, I hate the stack of Doom gameplay. Um, I really just, the only way I can play that game is on either a very easy difficulty and or doing a lot of saves coming. So yeah, I'm just not that good at the game. Um, Civ 5 on the other hand, I'm a, a little bit better. I play on um, Prince difficulty. I generally don't like going any higher than that because that doesn't make the AI smarter. It just gives them more stuff. Hence why I just play on Jester on uh, Conquest Elysium. But, um, excuse me one moment. Sorry about that, everyone. I had a cough. Um, but, um, yeah, I can play, uh, I can definitely probably play Civ 5, um, assuming, you know, Fraps doesn't kill my computer doing it. Um, but I don't know how interested anyone else is in seeing me play it. There's plenty of it. I know there's a lot of videos on Civ 4. I don't know. I don't, and there's probably some on Civ 5. I know Paul Swords is doing one with his kids um, every once in a while. Um, otherwise, um, I don't know what else you guys expect for it. Um, if you guys really want me to do Civ 5, I'll probably I'll happily do Civ 5. But it's going to be Prince difficulty because I'm not that good. But um, I, I'm at least I can at least play the game without really save scumming it. Um, and I generally could work through any uh, errors I suffer through, like you know not getting a certain wonder or whatever. Also, I really like the uh, diplomacy in Civ 5. Of course, it's not perfect, it's still rather uh, iffy with how it plays, because I have yet to uh, keep any friends uh, in the long term, the entire game, without going into uh, war and being called a warmonger. So, um, but I still prefer that over Civ 4's uh, diplomacy system, which is nothing but numbers. Um, but uh, yeah, so Civ 5 has been the only other suggestion. Uh, one of these suggestions so far, and that was a while back, um, but if you guys want me to do Civ 5, I can try doing that and see how that goes. Um, otherwise, um, I think that's about it. Um, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and thank you guys for subscribing and watching, and you guys uh, continue to do so. Um, I'll, um, if you guys have suggestions, just put, put it in the comments in this video, please. Um, that way I can have it all you know, consolidated in one place. Um, or you can just do it in the channel comments, but I don't want really to check that out very often. In fact, it doesn't seem to give me any notification that I get channel comments. So the only time I notice it is if I go and look. So, um, and there's only been like five there. Two, I think two or three of them are actually my own. So, um, yeah, so if you guys have got suggestions, feel free to let me know. Uh, try to keep it towards indie or maybe, you know, some old school games if you're anything. Um, unless there's like a very particular game you want me to play. Um, if I own it, I'll try to record it. Um, also, just keep it a PC. I'm not going to do console games. I, I, the latest console I have right now is a 360, and um, it's collecting dust for the most part. It's not, I mean, it's not too bad of a system, but lately the games I've been buying for it has such low, long loading times, I just, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Also, I don't really know how to record it. So there you go. All right. So, uh, I think I've rambled on enough. I've rambled on for like you know 14 minutes now. So I'll go ahead and call it quits here on the Depressed Eeyore. And um, if you got your suggestions, you know, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll take a look at them. Uh, see you guys later.